last time we had the most amazing time on our first BVI island, just for day. And this time we had a quick stop over at Norman Island, visit the Willie T, and obviously I had to get my tattoo. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Feel this way, don't know what and the next stop was Prickly Pear Island. Um, we just did a quick stop over there because we decided we're going to head to Anagata as soon as possible and then take our time to work our way down back through the BBI. Yeah, that's all I need and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. We just left Virgin Gorda in uh, BDI and this is Sir Richard Branson's one of his islands here he just went by him. and it's called Nectar Island on Google Maps it shows about three or four um, complex constructions whatever so we think this is more like a resort thing I don't think this is the one that he actually lives on he lives on the other island, but we will go find out where that one is. And he's got massive solar plants up there as well. Not a very sunny day, but it is a sailing day nevertheless. We're on our way to Anagada in the BVI. We've got our sails up. And looks like this the little red thing is he's flying okay. Petro is getting a little bit cold here. It's not funny. We're the BVI and it's winter. <laughs> uh, winter is rel relatively speaking, it's winter. It is winter in the northern hemisphere and we are in the no northern hemisphere. But it's not that cold. It is, yeah, you can feel it's somewhere it's winter. But look at the sails. And Sisu is doing great. Now, we now here at Lobster Trap. Sisu is at anchor far behind these guys. These are mooring balls. Now, since our anchor is working, we are anchoring. Oh, oh. Yo, yo, yo. Lobster trap. Okay. Let's go see the lobster trap. Let's go check my phone out. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Going to be a uh, uh, copyright is swear right. that I will stay here with you. Hold me closer. I want to stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. I promise I won't leave your side. Okay, so we apparently in Lobster Paradise in the BVI, and I think the boat just came in with the lobsters. And there's like crates and crates and crates full of lobsters. Oh my word. Why are you throwing those back? Are they too small? Huh? Are they too small? Can I take a video? I'll take a video. Are they too small? No, would be a cage. Oh, yeah, so you keep... You, this is your fridge. That's right. Look at these babies. And how do you get them out again when the people order them? I go inside. You climb inside. Got this one letter right here. So what sizes are these? These are for this evening. Yeah, but what size is that? About Small, two medium, large? About two pounds. Right? Two pounds? Yeah. And how much do you charge? Fifty-five. Fifty-five dollars? Yeah, and it comes with a choice of baked potato or rice and beans. Right. You get a green salad and you also get vegetables. 
but we need to know if you're joining us by four o'clock. By four o'clock. That's right. So it's fifty east, uh, fifty US. Yeah, fifty-five. Fifty-five, and that's yeah. for the whole lobster. For the whole lobster. Not just half for one. No, half is for <gasps> forty-five. Oh, he's getting mad. But you can't see down there, so you just grab one. <laughs> I go down in the, in, the, in the water and swim with, I swim with them. <laughs> Ew. Oh, look at this big one. That's right. If they're not happy chappies, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We decided that 55 bucks a piece was a little bit too much for our budget and we decided rather to go and explore all the watering holes in a garden has to offer. This makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand, look me in the eye. You, 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 you. They're needing a space to get into. Okay, so the second little bar. Hmm. Christmas trimming still on. And it looks pretty festive. Look, oh, it's amazing. Um, COVID precautions that's what we see all over the BDI, which we didn't see in down south. Super cool. So, what we're having? I want rum, but there's no one here to give me rum. So nobody giving me rum. Where's the rum lady? The Monkey Dog Restaurant, Bar and Coffee Shop. Somehow the coffee doesn't make sense in that picture. Not as bad as one Monkey Dog. And I got a BBI. That looks like a real pretty place. Huge stage. With lots of lights. So I'm sure back in the day. <gasps> we talk about back in the day pro, pre COVID times, eh? Um, I think this could be a cool place. Let's see what they can offer us to drink. I'm good. You, you say you're serving upstairs as well? It's supposed to be serving upstairs. Yeah. Supposed to. Yeah. As long as it's not raining. Oh. Yeah. Is it the shade upstairs? So no, no shade. That's why if it's raining, no servicing. It's a uh, dry weather bar. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first boat that inspired me for sailing at Dart 16. Very fast, very fast little catamaran. Walking the beach from Wonky Dog. But look at those clouds. I think we're going to be in. Well, at least the BVI is going to be in for a long, rainy session. Doesn't look like any cold France or anything like that. But rain for sure. So we are here. Just look at the scenery. And Pietro is already looking at sunset. Okay. Talking okay, to my Lisa. Love you long time. And so they've got a Hobie Cat session going on here. And there's the Hobie in question, the Dart 16 that Frick spoke about. And these are the potential guests going on it. And there's a newly found friend that we just met, and they're all going to go one, one, two, three, four. Up six people, which I think is a bit of an overkill, but anyway. And there's a huge storm brewing there in the background, so that should be fun. Oh, it says only the two of them going with their drinks. <laughs> okay, okay, there they go.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew the two of them. But they've got their, their drinks, their welcoming drinks, they've got on board. And the instructor just asked him if somebody can sail it because he's not capable anymore. They should be able to take over. <laughs> Whoops. And he's got to be at his hand. <laughs> And there they go. <laughs> we all we had a great time that day exploring Anagada and we made some awesome new friends too. And then we decided there is an other side of the island that needs exploring as well. So Crick agreed for us to go on a hike the next day. <laughs> so we are walking along the road. And Peter is talking to animals. <laughs> Buy a donkey. Buy a donkey. Yeah. Thank you very much. In Afrikaans. So we're walking down this road. And we're coming from that road. <laughs> Cement road. And every now and then a car wants to run us over. But oh, here's some salt lakes just across here. Shoe Alley. And we found a bar. Oh, you've got sunset rim as well. It's dangerous stuff. <laughs> and you guys can't smell it, but somewhere in here is bacon and eggs. Bacon sweet. sandwich. <laughs> You must smell it. It smells absolutely. So just in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Luckily for me. Now, now we can drink a beer and I'm sweating, man, sweating. So over there is a cement road. We think we've got a shortcut. So <laughs> let us see. Oh, next we look in the <laughs> We're going to cut some corners here. I'm 100% sure there's no bar on this road, but we will make it. We're still on the shortcut. Still no bar in sight. No human in sight. Just bush. And this is. Make us not not creep. Hey, nice. Look at all those. I'll take a thing again. Oh, you can have a red stripe. Yeah. Check this out, nice. And there's a monol and a catamaran. Ha! Ah. Wonder if they have a dinghy dog. There is no dinghy dock. There's fine, fine white, white sand, but there's a string that you can put your dinghy, you can attach your dinghy to that. The shortcut is getting narrower and narrower and narrower. Okay, crossroads, but. Not a cement road. We think. Oh yeah, where's the cement road? Huh. There it stops. Ooh. There, there where it's for. Sure. And Hector. Tipsy. Come join us for the happiest hour. Carrot three, we just paid six dollars. Stay tipsy for five, our special <laughs> huh? And I just glued the glued the front of the shoe. Now the back of the is gone. We have some... something. We have reached it. Oh, cold drinks. It says cold drinks. And we have lots of cold drinks on your back. Yeah, we're still carrying all of the cold beer in the back. Yeah. Oh. And I put lots of beer right there. I put a variety in and I put ice packs in so they are freezing cold. Good. So they're going to work very well on our way back. You know about the shoe. 
the limo. <laughs> oh, look at the evacuation plan. Show the beach hurricane. Evacuate plan. Grab here, run like hell. And here's <laughs> all the swap? shoes. Maybe, yeah. Right foot, look, yeah. Look, look for a good shoe. A right foot. <laughs> There's even I nice shoes for you, I think. Look at this pretty, pretty place. Hey. Doing good? <laughs> Not a bad place to be. Oh, <laughs> so this is now what we walk for all 500 and 210, 3, 700,000 million. So this. So we found another bar called Tipsy. And they have these drinks called Don't Stay Tipsy. Stay Tipsy. Yeah. And now I can understand that. But you stay Tipsy. Yeah. So we just keep on staying Tipsy. But it's a very awesome place. Just look at this. And we had a great time again in Anagada and thankfully we got to live back with people that we met there, awesome new friends, otherwise my poor foot would never have lasted the hike going back. But thanks for watching and stay tuned until next week as we explore some more of the BBI Islands. Sorry.